guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching today. So my name is Victory. I have been a nurse for over 10 years, um, precisely 11 years as of you watching this video right now. And I want to talk to you real quick about the pros and cons of being a mobile vascular access nurse. Okay, guys, um, stay tuned. Let's talk about it. Okay. So real quick. So the first, um, one of the first pros of being a vas mobile vascular access nurse, um, for those of you who don't know, a vascular access nurse is pretty much a nurse that can establish vascular access, um, vascular access on a patient. So whether it's you can do a peripheral IV or midline or PICS, we are certified and trained to do all those lines on a patient. Mobile just means we go to different places. So whether we go, we're able to go to different facilities. Um, so we drive around, move around to insert, um, whether midline or pick line on a patient. Um, or sometimes, I mean, we get calls for just a regular peripheral intravenous lines as well. Okay, so the first pro of being a mobile vascular access nurse is freedom, freedom, freedom. <laughs> so what I mean freedom is just like the case is assigned, right? You have, whether you have your list of cases or you have just one case or whatever it may be, you have, it just is, there's nobody micromanaging you. There's nobody saying, oh my gosh, did you breathe? Have you done this? Okay, document, uh, da, da, do this. You know what you're supposed to do, right? So on your way to the case, if you see Chick-fil-A and you're like, oh, I want some Chick-fil-A, you branch off, grab some Chick-fil-A and you keep going, right? So you have freedom, <laughs> which is important. So on that note, I, you also have flexibility because it is a job where we drive around, where we move around and it is not um, an emergency situation. You have a lot of flexibility where let's say you have an appointment or whatever and around, around your shift time, you have a doctor's appointment, um, depending on your manager, of course, you can talk to your manager to just say, hey, can I clock out and go to my doctor's appointment real quick and clock back in and, be, and continue working, right? So there's a lot of flexibility. Cases can be moved around. So if there's a case that you have and you just can't handle it or whatever, or something's going on, uh, or maybe you're behind, they can be moved around, they can be reassigned. So there's a lot of flexibility there. Number three. Number three is anything number three it is you don't have the bedside pressure right um, bedside nurses I've been a bedside nurse for a while um, and I so I know right apart from this job previous to the job I've done a lot of other jobs but bedside nursing was one of my jobs that I did do I know the stress of documenting this Q1 hour, Q2 hours, Q3, Q whatever, you know, all that stress of doing that, of filling out protocol this, protocol that, protocol that, you know, and then, you know, patients complaining, family members complaining, doctors calling you, lab calling you, telling you this and that, instead of calling the provider for the lab, about the critical lab result, just a lot of stuff. So there's a ton of pressure um, with bedside. With this job, there is no pressure, y'all. Listen, there's none. There's no pressure at all. Like, none, really. Um, yeah, none, no pressure. So that is number three, right? Number four is you can, um, I guess that was part of flexibility, so I won't count that. Flexibility, um, let me add to that, is that I can do a lot of like my personal errands that I need to get done. So if I need to like, let's say it's slow and I'm, I'm by Costco or something and I need to pick up something, I branch up, the, I branch into Costco and pick it up, right? Um, of course, while you're still working because you're still on the clock, but if there's no case or things are just super slow, you can quickly get things done, personal things that you need to get done as well. Um, okay, so that was still, we're still on three. Number four is, um, number four, number four, number four. The pay. The pay is actually pretty good. So the pay is decent. Um, of course, hospital is always, most likely, always gonna, not always, but most likely, is gonna pay more than a lot of, you know, non-hospital jobs. 
but to be honest with you this job pays me more than I got paid per hour when I worked in the cath lab in the hospital I understand that is a procedural area so it's a little different um, and I also understand I brought home more because I was on call and stuff but the stress was just too much for cath lab so this pays good I sleep well the stress is zero z z z zero right so zero stress um that's number four um number five specifically for the company that i work for i'm not sure for all companies i don't rack up miles on my car so they get we have we get a company car um which we share with other people depending on when you're working um we get a company car so you get to drive the company car which i think is pretty awesome guys so i don't have to so i'm not racking miles on my car you get a company card so you can buy um, for gas and for gas only um so that's awesome i'm not racking up my my miles on my car you know none of that right so that's those are the five things there's there's a lot more but i want to get into the cons a little bit the con is you will um if you are not a person that likes to i don't want to say confrontation um or if you're not very patient this might not be the job for you because sometimes you'll call a facility before you get there so they can get ready the paperwork um which is pretty simple just like consent face sheet and doctor's order right you're not really asking for much um but you'll and they'll be like okay and you drive an hour and you get there and zero zilch nada nothing is ready so you you know if you're not a patient person you can be like you can go off because you're like what is, what is this you know and it happens a lot not just not a lot trust me a lot um so that is another thing and another thing is sometimes you can do so the second thing is you deal with a lot of rough attitudes um because we're going to facilities all over so facilities in every neighborhood you can think of it's based on wherever your um your company has a contract with that's where they'll go so sometimes you're going to areas where people are not the kindest right not that there's a specific area where you people are nicer than you know people are mean people can be mean everywhere in the north south east west right um so that's another thing and sometimes you have to educate people even when they give you an attitude right so you still there's a lot of education with this job you're educating people on vascular access like educating people that you know you can't just pull out a pick line just like that just pull out a pick line no occlusive dressing nothing you, you don't you don't do that or you know you can't just we can't pull out and put push in you, if a pick line is, is hanging out you can't just slide it back in it doesn't work like that um just you know those the just just those things that you just have to be careful that when you're educating you're not rude um if you are one of those nurses that are not patient and can come off rude and you you think that everybody every nurse should know this every nurse should know that um then this might not be for you right you got to be patient you have to understand everybody nursing i always say nursing it's not about the years that you've been a nurse it's really about what you've been exposed to right so a nurse that's 20 years maybe only worked in a small facility where they only were exposed to so little versus you know a nurse that maybe worked for three years and worked in a major hospital and they did all sorts of surgeries all sorts of new equipment and all that so they would be exposed to a lot more and have a lot more experience in specific things okay um so just be mindful that's another thing um another i think i think i'm at number four is the driving there is a lot of driving um there is a lot of driving with associated with this job a ton of driving with literally the job is driving right so we're driving to the south um the furthest i think i've i've gone driving wise is probably like an hour and an hour and 30 minutes but they try so based on the job they try to keep you within the region that you're at so if you if you live in the south they try to keep you around that area if you're in north but i live north ish um north ish area of chicago and literally they send me to the south suburbs they send me to the west to the east <laughs> you know all the suburbs um so yeah so just you know you just have to be open to that it's a lot of driving sometimes my leg 
gets a little tired from the driving but there's a ton of downtime enough for me to be able to kind of stretch my feet um yeah and just kind of relax my leg that's those are some of the pros and the cons so after hearing that tell me are you still considering being a mobile nurse i love it by the way it is tiring with the driving i will say that it's the only thing but i do enjoy what i do okay thank you guys for watching so much if you have any other questions for me feel free to send them down below um and i will respond okay take care be blessed love you guys bye